Hey guys, this is just a quick update to the Venom face effect tutorial. As you can see, I'm on the live setup. I just wanted to make a quick amendment because uh, you may have noticed in the tutorial that I switched from After Effects 2019 to 2018 when I went to copy the shape data. And that's mainly because I wanted to use the traditional way of copying shape data and copying the tracking data from Mocha to After Effects for people that are using, say, CS6 and earlier versions of after Effects CC, but it doesn't actually work that way in After Effects 2019. You no longer have to copy to clipboard and paste the shape data, in fact, you can't. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how it actually works in After Effects 2019. So here we are in After Effects 2019, you can see I've got everything all set up, ready to go. The shape data is already pasted in, or is it? So here's the thing with After Effects 2019 and Mocha 2019 is that it's super, super easy to bring in that shape data because it's already here. Now, you may have noticed that when you see the Mocha plugin here that you've got this area called Mat, and this is where our shape data actually lives. So all we have to do to apply that shape data is just check this box. So bam, 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 bam. So shape data's not there, well technically it is, it's just invisible, and then bam, that's it, it's applied. So you just saw right then and there that I wasn't even on the uh, correct frame. But the cool thing is, you can even just check out your mat anyway. La la la. <laughs> Never mind. So that's how easy it is to bring in your shape data from Mocha into After Effects 2019. You no longer need to paste shape data because it doesn't work that way. Mocha is now a plugin that lives natively in After Effects. So all you need to do is just click Apply Mat and you're good to go. So I hope this has been informative guys and as always, keep learning.